Hello Cancer and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So you guys um, as you know I told you in a couple videos before a couple days ago I wanted to do a segment for um, my fans because it's been a long time since I've done a fan reading and I really wanted to kind of touch as, mo as many of you as I could right as many of you as I could because I love you guys. So um, I decided to, like, we, we broke all the comments down into, like, four of the main um, cancer verses um, that everybody needs to know, right? And it was um, Cancer versus Leo, Cancer versus Virgo, Cancer versus Pisces, and Cancer versus Capricorn. So I am here to do a Cancer versus Pisces, okay? Um, and I did pick up on a song. Um, but anyway, Cancer, let me get through my spiel. I love you guys. And this is your kind of like um, a community fan reading, okay? Cancer versus Pisces. Um, this reading is for the collective, though, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. Just take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Um, and if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button. Give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, you can like, subscribe, comment, share these videos. You know, have fun with it, guys. Just go the whole nines for me, right? Woo! And uh, this channel is for adults only. Okay, Cancers? All right, so this is Cancer versus Pisces, and roles can be reversed in any reading, all right? Um... The song that I got for you guys is, uh, uh, yeah, I know the song at least fairly well. My father introduced me to Nat King Cole um, in, I want to say, in my teens. So, um, yeah, uh, it's called, um, oh, what is the name of it? Stardust. It's called Stardust, I think, by Nat King Cole. And honestly, it's I knew I was going to do your reading for you today, and it's been driving me absolutely berserk here for like the last four hours. So <laughs> I know this is for you. And it, I started singing it right before your reading. But um, it's a really long song, so I kind of want to get through all of it. I might, uh, I might speed it up a little bit. Um, I'm already feeling winded here. But... Uh, I want to talk about, I want to give you all of it because there's so much packed into it. Little details of memories from your person that might resonate with you, okay? So anyway, um, yeah, I, let me just give me a second to try to remember how it goes. Um, uh, first of all, your person, they're really upset because you walked away, all right? Um, and they're they're suffering because of it. They're suffering karma for what they did. But um, okay, yeah. Uh, and now the purple dusk of twilight time steals across the meadows of my heart. High up in the sky, the little stars climb, always reminding me that we're apart you wander down the lane and far away leaving me a song that will not die love is now the stardust of yesterday the music of the years gone by Sometimes I wonder why I spend the lonely nights dreaming of a song. The melody haunts my reverie and I am once again with you when our love was new. And each kiss an inspiration. Do, 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 do. <laughs> but that was long ago. 
Now my consolation is in the stardust of a song. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to speed it up. Besides a garden wall, when stars are bright, you are in my arms. The nightingale tells his fairy tale of paradise where roses grew. Though I dream in vain, in my heart it will remain my stardust melody, the memory of love's refrain. Do 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 do. That's it. It was a lot. So I'm thinking, ah, do I need to do the second verse? But the second verse I feel is really important for somebody because it talks about by a garden wall and the, um, I don't know, I feel like it's a specific memory for one of you guys out there. Like, I don't know, maybe there was a moment you had and a song was playing a specific song is this person has a song in their mind that replays and they're very very dreamy they know you walked away and this is their karma is the fact that they know now and they can't shake you that that is what they're suffering here is the fact that all they have left is a dream all they ha and they're very dreamy they're daydreamy they're night dreamy <laughs> you know something about a song brings them back to a specific moment in time with you you know and I feel like with this Pisces they're kind of feeling like a sense of defeat even because it's a sad song like they're they're already accepting the fact that they'll have to hold on to that memory for the rest of their days. Um, there's like a sadness in it, you know, but total nostalgia. This person, they can't get you off of their mind, okay? Um, and that's why they're suffering here, I feel like. It's just, it's a, it's a sad, dreamy song, you know? This is somebody who stabbed you in the back I feel this is why they're suffering their karma. This is their, the, the, what's happened to you, what they did to you could be very well being done to them because look, I've got a third party situation here and a hand is being taken off by a horse. You know, it's kind of like an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a third party situation for a third party situation here. A stab through the heart for a stab through the heart. This person's getting their karma for what they did to you. You know, um, they want to take this new journey, but they, I feel like they're drowning in their emotions now. They're drowning and tr look, they're all beat up. This journey just has them exhausted and drowning in their emotions, literally. <sighs> My stardust melody, the memory of love's refrain like they can only think about when they fell in love with you they can only think about how you made them feel they can only think about how they fell in love with you and it's making them suffer they really want to come to you look they want to come to you you know, I, this might be the the king of pentacles. I kind of feel like just the knight coming after their princess. You know what I mean? And they're, they're literally drowning in their emotions right now, being all kinds of dreamy, literally fantasizing about you. You know, I've learned that people will, oh my gosh. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I'm telling you. 
I'm telling you, they'll never forget how you made them feel. Yeah, wow. I'm putting these up here and this one. Oh, this one, front and center. That, that was pretty good. Yeah, you walked away and they're all, all they had. It feels like to me, it's like they're thinking all they have left are the memories of you, you know? All right, what's going on with this Pisces for Cancer? Cancer versus Pisces, what's going on? Yeah, the wheel is turning, that's a lot. Your person has a lot to say. They wanna take some action here, uh, stuck in third party. Okay, so this has been a long time coming. Your person has been in this stagnancy and bound to devil energy, okay? Possible addictions. Um, I feel like it's it's maybe even something sexual here or sexual or money related maybe, but they've been in this stagnancy trying to choose between you and this devil energy, okay? Well, now the time is up. Well, I've been getting this wheel in like everything. Now the time is up now. Time's up for your person and this devil energy here. All right, what else can you show me for Cancer versus Pisces and this Pisces person? What's going on with the Pisces? Yeah, I feel like they're they're committed, but they're thinking about you. I'm not reading reversals, so they're thinking about you. Um, Six of Cups. Just like I said, they will never forget how you made them feel. That's the Six of Cups. They can't forget it. They can't forget how you made them feel. They can't forget about you, your love, how you nurtured them, how you were always there for them, how you gave your love to them, everything. They can't forget about it. They'll never forget how you made them feel. That's the last line on that card, but this person has been committed but they can't forget about you. And the divine is saying, we've had enough. We've had enough. It's time. This person's out of time to decide what it is that they want. If they're out of time. I feel like all that, they just, they're very dreamy about you. You know? Sorry, that was me. I was daydreaming about the song. I'm trying to think about that song. I can only remember the words if I sing the whole thing, and I don't want to do it again. Um, yeah, you're standing in your strength. I, I feel like they didn't think that you were very strong before, you know. But, I mean, you've changed a lot since then. Look. You've changed so much since the last time this person has been face to face with you. So much. I mean, you're so strong now. You may have been naive before, but you're strong now. And you haven't been talking to this person. And they're wishing that you would, man. They're just, they're remembering you. They can't forget about you you know and the, the universe is telling this person time is up man what are you gonna do yeah they can't forget about you that you're every queen in the deck to this person you could be pregnant or birthing new creative things okay um you're very creative very intuitive very connected to the divine every queen in the deck not going to waste your time or let anybody play any games with you you're independent self-sufficient um you don't need anyone and you haven't been talking to this person this is how they see you though not and not only are you strong but wow look at you you know but your person still gives to others, and that's not cool with the divine. I Honestly, I don't think your person's happy with it either. This is how they feel. You know, your person, your person may want to give to you here, but... I'm seeing this as them 
the giving to others and them running out of time they I feel like they've been in complete and utter stagnancy yeah you're you're calling a judgment on this I think you're like nah because you've risen above it you've healed on your own this isn't just a completion of the last cycle card this is a graduation card okay this is you working for every bit of the abundance that's coming to you in the new cycle you put so much work into yourself, your spiritual journey, your healing from whatever it is this person did to you, right? You had to heal from that. You don't look like that anymore. Look at, look at you. You're strong. You're confident. You know exactly where it is that you're going because you're being led by the divine. And, you know, you're about to enter into a new cycle. Like, awesome. Look at you you know exactly where it is that you're going and it's like you know they want you you know they want you you can we everybody knows this person wants you okay and but they're out of time you gave them time and during that time you healed and you bossed up and you graduated you this is graduation day for you you're leaving the last crappy cycle where this person didn't give to you, they gave to someone else. And, you know, and I feel like this is your judgment call. You're like, I'm sorry, I'm elevating. I'm leveling up. Cancer, that's kind of how you're feeling. I'm leveling up, so you're out of time. You're out of time. You want, look at, look at your progression here. This took so long, and it took so much effort. This was you and your progression of growing. Do you see cancer? You went from this with your person to someone who is much stronger to a freaking empress to someone who graduated this last cycle about to level up and step into something absolutely new. That's the procession of you, honey. In picture form, I'll bet you you didn't notice that before, did you? I hope you can see it all. Please tell me you can see it. Can you see that? That's you. And you know, you should actually stop for a minute. Give your pat, give yourself a pat on the back and blow yourself a kiss, baby. Seriously, because you this is fabulous and look how it just kind of laid out before me and so you get to make your judgment call because you did all of this effort cancer all of that effort and it's going to be abundant not only did you grow but so did you your pentacles you worked on every part of you gosh I hope you can see this because it's absolutely gorgeous and what's coming is your abundance you're an empress here. You worked for it. And your person is over here drowning and getting their karma and never, never able to forget about how you made them feel. Are you kidding me? This is gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. The changes that you've made in yourself, Cancer. I hope you see this and I really hope you take the, that time to you know congratulate yourself for that all right yeah um i feel like your person is going within because they can freaking see it too they can see this progression this and now they can now that they can see the stages they can they can really know now how much time they actually freaking wasted in this because this took time this transformation of you cancer took a hell of a lot of time so your person's going within they're like how do I approach my cancer and what do I do you know what do I do because I feel like they're still in stagnancy here they haven't done anything not this one that I'm reading for and they're trying to figure out just now what do I do because now they're out of time they're out of time. They want this new journey with you, but now they're out of time. And what do they do? I feel now a, a sense of panic. 
my chest is starting to tighten up on me. So your person goes within, okay? A bit more stagnancy, but listen, this is them trying to figure out how they're going to approach you and how they're going to tell you the truth and how they're going to communicate with you. This is them knowing the pain that they caused you in this third party situation because the same crap is happening to them right now. And this last sword here is the sword that they know they've got to pick up and communicate with and possibly cut something out. There, This is them deciding. This is them trying to figure out what steps to take next. How to do this because they know, they know they're freaking out of time. Out of time. Sorry about that. Yeah, um... Yeah, this is them trying to figure out how to communicate with you all uh, because of the hurt that they caused, because of the heartbreak they caused, because of the betrayal. Telling you that the, the divine knows what they're doing, okay? The divine has seen everything. I feel like this person is getting their karma through a third-party situation for a third-party situation. Okay, they're getting done to them exactly what they did to you, person watching. Are we still rolling? Yeah. Um, and right now they're trying to figure out how what they're going to do. But, <laughs> yeah, there they are. There's your Pisces hangman still stuck in between trying to make a decision. Well, they know that it's you that they want, Cancer. They know that that's you that they want. But they're not moving forward on anything here. Or this could have been them in the past, but I'm seeing them still hemming and hawing, hemming and hawing, hemming and hawing. Meanwhile, the universe is like, buddy, you don't understand. You know, I, some people don't get it. They don't, you know, they, they're not aware that there's a higher power kind of, calling the shots in a, in a lot of cases here and I think people don't they don't want to believe they want to believe that they're you know all powerful but in this case this person is holding people back they're holding people back and they're holding them stuck in a third party situation and that's not allowed to do that with another human being and another future that belongs to someone else that's not allowed not when people aren't being honest. Not when people haven't been honest and this person hasn't been honest with anyone, including themselves. Okay, so, you know, the, the universe isn't going to keep putting up with that. You know? People have their own freaking paths, and this person, by not being honest, they're keeping people from really where they're so really supposed to be going, including themselves here. They're really screwing it for themselves, too, and they don't seem to understand that. This Pisces doesn't understand that. They don't see that. They're starting to here because they're getting their karma, but, you know... They're going to keep getting their karma in this situation. I really feel like a tower is just going to come and kaboom the whole thing for this person. I really do. They're, they're watching you. This is Creepy McCreeperson. This person's in a commitment and they're watching you. And they're in love with you. And they can't forget about you. But yet they refuse to leave a commitment. What exactly are they committed to? The main thing is now pretty much, do they not get it? You know, you can't be committed to one and giving to one and loving and being in love with and dreaming about and being obsessed with someone else, which is what your person is with you. They're obsessed about you. They're daydreaming, night dreaming about you. They can't get you off of their mind. They will never forget how you made them feel, period, done. 
This person watches you nonstop, whatever it is. They could be hanging outside your house. Creepy McCreeperson, right? The, the name is because they're creepy. They creep around. So they may even know your schedule. They may be watching you outside work, outside your home. They could be watching you online, having something to say to you, but still holding back communication. And this person is out of time. They're out of time. You know, they want to come to you. They're drowning in their emotions. They know that you are their empress. Okay, they've, they've, they've been watching you like a hawk. I knew it when I saw all of this. They can see your procession, okay? They can see your effort in yourself and the changes you've made in yourself. They may be very, very passionate about you. They want this new beginning with you. They want it. But they just hem and haw, hem and haw, hang out, doing nothing, doing absolutely nothing, not wanting to touch the emotion, though. No, no, no. Not having something to say, but not communicating. No, yeah. You know, in their mind, in their mind, going within, going within, still giving to others, though. But yet, thinking about you, all of this is about you. What is the deal with this person? Yeah, patience. You're asked to use patience. I feel like this is the divine. This is the divine saying, listen, we're working things behind the scenes, baby. You know, we're trying to balance everything out. We're trying to make some things grow. We're planting some seeds. We're, you know, so patience, I feel like, is needed in this situation. But what action do the, does this person... Yeah, patience. It came out again. What action does this person plan on taking towards cancer? They're like, just have patience. Use your intuition too, I feel. The divine, I really feel like this is divine intervention here and divine timing. Okay. This person plans on coming in, but they can't do anything or give you an offer besides the wand that's it because they're already committed they're not cutting anything out at this time i i it looks to me like they're still standing in stagnancy having to make a decision they're trying to make a decision they're trying to reach a point where they can communicate and be honest and maybe cut something out but this is player energy, and right now, without seeing a final cutout here, the only thing I can tell you is this person's coming in to use that wand as a male phallic in order to be intimate, and then they're going to leave right away. This isn't a card. This is not a knight who stays. This is like the biggest player of, of all of them, and that's all they have to offer you is this stick okay that's what they have to offer you and you know you've come way too far here cancer look look at your procession how much you've grown and you just graduated from the last cycle yeah you're gonna be calling a judgment on this you're gonna be like that's a big gnaw for me dog seriously all right yeah, because they're still juggling. They're still juggling. Your person's a schmoozer. They may come in and schmooze you. They want to use this wand. They're very passionate about you. The, of course they love you. Of course they see all that you've become. Of course that they will never forget how you made them feel. Of course they're drowning in their emotions. But your person kind of wants to have their cake and eat it too. Unfortunately, I have to tell you this. I can't not tell you this and have all of this in my hands at the same time. And no, I've got to be real with you, Cancer. This Pisces, the one I'm talking about here, they do dream about you. They do wish they were with you. They, Yeah, but they want both. 
they're they're they don't want to walk away from this right now it's it's like they're trying to think of a way to do it maybe but this person's coming in to use that wand because that's literally all they can offer you right now at least for this Pisces that I'm reading for they're freaking juggling somebody else and they're gonna be coming in with player energy and they're just gonna use that wand and leave again and go back to whoever it is that they're freaking committed to and giving to I love you guys and I have to be honest with you here okay I gotta be honest yeah they do love you you know yes they are they are nostalgic they are very dreamy about you I stand by that and they see how far you've come you are the empress to them you are strength to them you are literally everything personified to your person everything every freaking woman you're every woman to this person but the the simple fact is is them coming in to use you again and leave you again and stab you in the back again for this third party situation again you're not dealing with it anymore you're not I think you're gonna say no man no yeah because you've just you've grown too much but I feel like they're coming in to schmooze you cancer they're coming in to schmooze all right Honestly, I think you guys might even battle it out. I think in the end, you you may even... You know, this person could have... Some, you, the, you, this could be a battle here. But, I'm, you know, this person could have some inner turmoil as well. About coming forward and bringing justice in the situation. They could have some inner turmoil about it because... I really feel like if they are in a full-on commitment like married or something that they may be worried about what they're gonna lose if they leave that commitment that's kinda what I'm feeling like here but it, it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter they can feel however they want the fact of the matter is for them to come and try to schmooze you and use this wand on you anyway, I'm sorry, but that's. I'm going to keep my opinions out of it. Fill in the blank, Cancer, okay? That's fill in the blank. Yeah, you do it. It's probably more satisfying for you if you do it. <laughs> right? I know what I'm going to say. Yeah, I think they want a victory in this. They want a victory. Or this could be your energy, but I think this is your person's energy. I think this is, and the, here they are with this wand again. Um, be very careful, Cancer. This person, I'm thinking, may even have an issue with their wand. You know, they may try to cover that up too. They see you as their as their match totally. But the problem that this person's going to have is that they're going to come to you ex expecting, expecting for to have a victory with you because they've done it before. That's what I just got. They're going to be expecting to have a victory with you, and you're going to be like, no. Nah. Yep. You're going to turn around and freaking walk in the opposite direction. They're going to be like, here I come, baby, with my big wand. And you're like, you know what? I don't need your wand. I'm fine just all on my own. And I'm not going to play any games or, or allow you to waste my time or play any games with me. So they definitely see you as matching their energy, though. You guys are a match, and they know that. But, yeah, this person, 
they're expecting to get a victory with that wand with you because they've done it before. They've done it before. Worked before. And you're like, not this time. Not this time. Yeah, you're, you're going to be going, uh, they find you very sexy too, by the way. But you're going to be going, um, kind of going off to pay attention to, you know, focus on what makes you happy. Building your pentacles. I think you're, you're done with the situation, Cancer. You're just outy. You're outy. You got bigger and better things to focus on. You're making, you're the one who's making a judgment call on this in the end. In the end, you're, you're going to be making the call, and you're going to be happy to do it. You're going to be happy to do it. Yeah. All right, Cancers. That's what I got for Cancer versus Pisces. Um, listen, I hope this helps. I really do. I hope it helps. And I, I you know, I got to tell you what I see in the cards, but just know this. Beyond the shadow of a doubt, your person is reminiscing, remembering you, can't forget about you, constantly dreaming about you, nostalgic for you. No, they want it. They want to take this new journey. They're drowning in their emotions and they're getting their karma. But your person is very stubborn, and they're very, being very stubborn about leaving a commitment, even though they're in love with you. I, I don't even know what else to say. When they do come in, they can only offer you this wand. And they're expecting a victory with that. I don't know, Cancer. I love you, my babies. All right? I love you so much. Listen, take care of you, okay? And peace out.